presentation, we're going to look at triangles and continue our study and look at finding the missing angle. When you have two angles of a triangle, you can always find the third. Why is that? Well, say if I were to trace over these angles, I'll trace them in a different color because I'm going to move them so we can see them. Together, I'm going to take them out and rotate them, them around and show you that when you add up the angles of a triangle, that they will equal a certain measure. Oops. that into place. Okay. You put them side by side like that. If you were to tear off the corners of, of a triangle, you would see that they form a certain measure angle. Now, m mind you, I just traced over these kind of freehand. So but you can get the idea here that if you take them out, you rip off the corners of any triangle, Put them together, you get what you get is a straight line. Now, so I'm going to use my line tool here, and you can see it is a straight line. So they they kind of if you add them up, if you ever added 60 plus 60 plus that missing angle, you would find out that it would equal 180 degrees. So every triangle. If you add up or take the sum of all of its angles, they always equal 180 degrees. And it kind of, was kind of proved by this example up here. You know, I took off the corners, put them together. They add up to equal a straight angle or a 180 degree angle. Now let's check that out. So if we have 60 and 60 as the known angles of this triangle, we added those up we get 120 degrees. Now, if I took that 180, because you know, every every triangle measures, you know, three angles measure 180. So if I took 120 and I subtracted that from 180, we get zero minus zero is zero, eight minus two is six, one minus one is zero. So we'd be left with a 60 degree angle. So that missing angle would be 60 degrees. So there's the missing angle on that case. Key, uh, you must know that all triangles have 180 degrees if you add up all three of their angles. Now th in this case, we have a 50 degree angle shown on this triangle. And we also have the symbol for 90 degrees there. So I'm going to write that in there. Sometimes you are not given the numerical measure of it. You're just given this symbol here, and that tells you that's a 90 degree angle. So once again, I'm going to add the two that we know. 90 plus 50. 0 plus 0 is 0. 9 plus 5, 14. It's 140 degrees together, those two. And now we take those from 180, what's left would be 40 degrees. So you quickly found the measure of that missing angle, 40 degrees. Pretty convenient knowing that about triangles. Now, again, the measures of the three angles of this triangle have to add up to 180. So I'm keeping that in mind. And I take the two angles that I know, which are 110. 35 degrees, uh, 0 plus 5 is 5, 1 plus 3 is 4, and we're left with, now we have 145 degrees in total for these two angles. We want to find the third. So knowing that there are 180 degrees in each triangle, I'm going to subtract 145 from 180, and we'll get... 10 minus 5 is 5, 
7 minus 4 is 3, and then we're left with 35 degrees. And there's the measure, 35 degrees. Now, to double check your work, it's always good to double check. You could take the three measures. You've got 110, 35, plus 35. Add those up. One's place, I've got 5 plus 5 is 10. Carry the 1, tens place. 1 plus 1 is 2, plus 3 is 5, 5 plus 3 is 8. In the hundreds place, I have just that 1 to deal with. And we're back to what you would hope we would find, 180 degrees in that triangle. And the last example we'll take a look at is an angle. I'm sorry, a triangle. Triangle meaning three angles, by the way. Probably knew that. Good for you. So we've got two angles. We've got 50 degrees and 40 degrees. We're going to add them up. One's place, we have zero. Ten's place, we have nine. So that's 90 degrees. Now, knowing that every triangle is 180 degrees, uh, all the angles measure up, or the measure of three angles added up would be 180 degrees, and we're going to take away the known angles, the sum of the known angles, and we'll get 0 minus 0 is 0. 8 minus 9, well, we need to borrow. 18 minus 9 gives you 9. Now, and that's, now this angle measures 90 degrees. You know, so technically, if you put that 90 degree symbol in there, and oftentimes you'll be presented with something maybe on a test or an exam, and it doesn't look like a 90 degree angle. Well, this is a case where the triangle itself is really not drawn to scale. So you just have to be aware of that. Um, but what you can count on always is that the, the three angles of the triangle add up to 180 degrees. So that's why we were able to find out that the missing angle was 90 degrees. So that's a right triangle there. Now we'll go back through. Uh, this previous example it had a 110 degree angle. That was an obtuse triangle. And this would also be a 90 degree angle. In the first example, we had, um, well, let me jump back there. It's a 90 degree triangle because we have one 90 degree angle. I'm afraid I misspoke there. <laughs> Sorry about that. So back to the original example. So if you look at the, the angles here, we have three acute angles. So that would be an acute triangle. There it is. All right. And that was a, taking a look at triangles and finding the missing angle. Thanks for checking out Mr. Merrick's EduBlog. And we'll see you again next time.